So let's start with the first one, which is the VTP server mode. So with VTP server mode, so every switch, every switch, every Cisco switch by default is, is a server. And that's the reason why we can create VLANs on every device because it is only a VTP server that can create VLANs. And so that's why normally from now of uh, up to this point, all the VLANs we've created, we've been able to create it on those switches because by default, when you buy a Cisco switch, all the, um, the switches will be operating at um, a VTP server mode, meaning they would have the ability to create VLANs modify VLANs and delete VLANs. Also for a server, VTP server, they're able to synchronize VLAN configuration. What it means is this, if you have switch one and switch two, and this is maybe server, and this is maybe client, and maybe there's another server here, it's not, it doesn't really matter who is server and who is, we, we don't have to have only one server. There's another server here. So we have a switch one, switch two, and switch three. So with switch one, assuming that um, we create VLAN 10 and 20 here, it will be sent to this guy. So 10 and 20 will be, will be here and also be sent to this guy. 10 and 20 will be here. But assuming this guy decides to create maybe 30, 30 will be here and this guy would also receive 30 and this guy also receive 30. So when we say that it synchronizes VLAN configurations, what we mean is that it's able to accept all the other VLANs that have been created from other places. If those VLANs are in the same domain, it will be able to, we will receive it, we'll update ourselves to be at the level where we'll receive all those VLANs. And that's what we mean by synchronization. Another thing about servers is the fact that be able to send and forward advertisement. What it means is that, for example, if there's another one here, this is switch four, and maybe this is a client. We're saying that it's able to send. It means that it will create it and send it. It's able to forward, server is able to forward. So this one is send and rece it receives it. It's able to forward means that when it receives something, it's able to pass it on. Sending basically that means that it's able to create and push it to someone. Forward means that it's able to, it's similar, it's just when and at what point it's doing it. But for a server, you're able to send information to somebody about VLANs. When we say VLANs, it's just creating VLANs. So the VLAN number and then the name of the VLAN, that's all, not the port numbers. It's just creating VLAN IDs, VLAN 10, and then the name of the VLAN. That's all we use the VTP to do. And so that's how the VLAN um, VTP will work on a server. A VTP server, which is a normal switch that can create and modify um, surveillance. The last thing is that it's able to also save configurations in MVRAM. So basically, for VTP servers, anytime you create a VLAN or anytime it receives a VLAN, it will store it in memory, so it will keep it. Non-volatile, this one means non-volatile RAM. It means that when, even if we turn off the device and we turn it back on, Assuming we have VLAN 10, 20 created from this device and we receive 30 from this device, 30 will be here. If we shut the device off and turn it back on, we'll still have 10, 20, and 30. So basically it stores it somehow permanently on our device.